everybody, this is Tam Biota, and you're watching The Daily Review. So this is uh, this week on The Daily Review where we're going to go over what to expect on the channel for this week. Uh, starting out with, uh, with Monday, going through Friday. I'll let you know what's going on this weekend. We got some new stuff that came in, so we'll be taking a look at that. And yeah, so let's get going, get situated, get going. Uh, so this week... Uh, starting off Monday, tomorrow, we're going to be reviewing this guy right here. So there's going to be a quick build segment, uh, like a, a sped up building thing, and then we're going to talk about the figure. And uh, basically the same thing for Tuesday, we're going to be talking about uh, this blue line. So these are the Lego Voltron lions, if you haven't figured that out already. So we're going to be doing yellow and blue for Monday and Tuesday. Then coming up on Wednesday, I didn't write it on my cheat sheet, but coming up on Wednesday, uh, we have uh, R2-D2, R2-D2 parts. Uh, so let's see here. So Wednesday, we have uh, issue number 23. Here it is. So we have a piece, another piece of the frame along with uh, part of the structure for that frame. So we're getting done with that with that frame, and we're going to be uh, uh, putting on the structure. And I think that is the last section for. I'm, I'm looking up there. You can probably see it up here somewhere uh, in the corner. Uh, yeah, I think there's two more frame pieces, maybe three, and then that'll be it for the frame pieces for the dome. And then, and then I think we'll be working on a little bit more of the leg. So this will be uh, Thursday. We have issue number 24. So you have a wheel for the leg. And it doesn't look like anything else. Got a bunch of screws in here. That's about it. And then on Friday, we're going to go back to the future. So back to the future Friday, issue number 21. These are our parts right here. So we're going to be dealing with the uh, like the the cylinder heads, the, the top part, and that's what we're going to be doing on Friday. Um, now I am going to be out Saturday and Sunday. Uh, this weekend is Alamo City Comic Con, and I'm actually going to be there. I will be at the booth. So if anybody lives in San Antonio and they want to come by and see me, come by the Alamo Dome. Come on in, and uh, I'll be there at the Cyber City booth. So, um, just promoting the show and stuff. I'll be out there. I'll have a few things for sale also. So, come on by, say hi. I'd like to meet everybody that I can. All right, so for the new things, uh, new things, we did get some, um, I got all that stuff um, situated with. Uh, with model space with uh, Diagostini, and I have my uh, months seven and eight for R2. Months seven and eight. For, uh, there we go. Seven and eight. And uh, we'll just take a look real quick at what uh, come in those packages. So seven is. Month seven is issues 25, 26, 27, and 28. Now, like I said, we're going to be dealing with uh, mainly the legs. Now, we have some pieces that we'll also be messing with. Uh, so, let's see here. So, these are the parts for 25 which uh, you see that's, I think, the last piece of the ring, of the uh, ring for that guy, and then uh, uh, some more of the metal on there. Uh, 25, 26. You see this is uh, part of the leg. 27. Uh, we got some electronics. Now this is part of the projector. And 28. 
which this is the other part of uh, the other part of the, um, the the connector plate that holds the wheel on. That other plate was the first one, and this is the second one. All right, and then for uh, let's see here for pack number eight. Let's see here. This one's a little heavy because it's got a motor in it. I, I first I thought that it had maybe a um, one of the free gifts in here. I remember I got one. I don't remember how long ago that was. I got that little R two. Um, jump drive. So, uh, in this pack, you get issues number 29, 30, 31, and 32. Okay, and all the parts, let's see here. So starting at 29. So this is 29. This is more pieces for the uh, uh, for the projector. So 29, 30. So as you 30, this is the heavy one. This is the motor for for the leg. So 31 is the uh, the foot boot. And 32 is a teeny tiny one, and it is a sensor for the uh, for the foot. So we'll be dealing with all of those pieces. Uh, hopefully, I don't have any more issues with Diagostini. Uh, they originally told me that um, there was an issue with my credit card. <laughs> um, I paid with this with PayPal credit, so there's no credit card attached to it. They said that my credit card was expired, and they never sent me any messages, didn't call me, uh, didn't email me, text me, or anything. I didn't know what was going on, so I ended up having to call them to ask them. But now I have my parts, so all is, all is well. So we'll be working on those. Actually, we'll be digging into that box next week. So, um, One last thing back here, you can see this white box. So I did um, go from a standard, not a standard, I went from a deluxe subscription for the X-Wing to a standard subscription for the X-Wing because um, I didn't feel like it was that worth the extra money. Uh, I only wanted the, uh, the Luke figure that was going to go inside of it or the little... But from what I understand is this guy is in scale with the Black Series. So they're actually going to be coming out with another. They're going to be re-releasing the X-Wing uh, Luke, the, the, the X-Wing pilot Luke. And uh, I'll go ahead and get that because I know that uh, they, when they did the, uh, the Black Series on the cards where they recreated the uh, um, original vintage cards, they made that one a uh, uh, a celebration exclusive, and he's really expensive. So I thought, well, I'll get this figure, and then I found out that that is the case. Uh, whenever I called to check on my R2s, I asked them if I could switch it over to a standard. They said, uh, well, we'll escalate it, and uh, I was like, uh, you know what? Just cancel my order, and I'll reorder a standard subscription. So that's why I have a second box. now. Originally, I was going to reorder two of the issues because I kind of messed up. So issue number one, I messed up because I cut pieces. Um, I used my knife and I cut these little pieces that hook uh, these two barrels together. And let's get out these pieces. So you can see I... I cut those pieces right there and it makes it super, super duper loose and it makes it 
not where it wants to be straight. So I, I was going to reorder that issue and uh, I was going to reorder uh, issue number four for the R2 pieces, one of those little pieces. I popped in and it went all the way through and I lost it. Uh, so I'll be a little bit more careful this time with that R2 piece. Uh, other than that, I'm gonna have a bunch of extra pieces or some extra pieces. Um, I'm just gonna use the pieces that I need from those two issues. And I'll probably just throw the other two issues up on eBay and see if anybody wants to buy those. So if anybody's watching that and they wanna buy those other two issues, then uh, go ahead and let me know and I'll, uh, I'll quote you a price on them. Uh, I'll just whatever I paid for them for the retail, I'll have to figure that out. But that's what we'll go ahead and do. So um, Now something that I did notice whenever I was going through these packs. That's fine. Pack number one. So pack number one. Um, I was looking at these pieces right here. The These pieces. They look... If I look at them, it looks like there's a bunch of weathering on one side, the side that I'm holding it on, and no weathering on this side. So it almost looks white on this side and very dark on this side. And they did that. This, they did the same thing with this one. See, it's very light over here or very dark over here. Now, when I take a look at this, these look a little bit more even. And, you know, they look lighter on this side and darker on this side, but, you know, it looks like, I don't know, I'll have to, I'll have to look at it whenever I get everything pulled apart. <clears throat> but, yeah, basically I needed this piece to fix it, so. Now this isn't so bad. Like if you look at uh, at the differences, you know, I may I may take a look at the other pieces because there is some issues with with these wires right here or these pipes right here, where they go out and then they come up because it doesn't look like these were screwed into the correct place. So I may just go ahead and redo these uh, just to see which ones are the best. <clears throat> but. Yeah, like I said, I rebought that pack, so I got a whole pack of packs, a whole bunch of these things. So. <clears throat> and the box is all beat up, so at some point I will be getting back around to fixing that and uh, probably won't be until my uh, <clears throat> my month two comes in. So still waiting for month two to come out. Um, haven't really heard much. Saw that somebody posted a issue number five. Um, I don't know where they were from, but uh, somebody on the Facebook group that I'm on saw that somebody posted issue number five. So I don't think that they've posted issue six or anything past five so I don't know if issue number five is somehow coming out in newsstand somewhere but uh, hopefully we'll get all those pieces soon and we'll be able to uh, get back on to building this X-Wing because I don't know I'm gonna have to look at that too because this is terrible that's terrible or I'm gonna have to repaint it so All right, one last thing. One last thing before we go. I uh, wanna talk about support. Support for the channel. So this is how I keep going. Uh, this is how I purchase things to review because um, I make next to nothing on the YouTubes. So if you have and you can spare a little bit, uh, please, please think about that. There's two different ways that you can help me out, help with, uh, with sponsoring. Uh, one is through Spreadshirt, so if you want a, a sweet swag t-shirt, I know that this is not one of my t-shirts, this is a, a Power Rangers t-shirt shredded, shredded, shattered grid. Um, if you want to buy one of my t-shirts, it's going to have this logo on here. Uh, you can see this is a nice big logo. This is off my Patreon page, which is another way. But uh, 
<clears throat> if we take a look at uh, my Spreadshirt page, I know you can't see this. This is kind of uh, whited out a little bit. It's really, but I got three different designs. I have the traditional uh, red and blue good guy, the purple and blue bad guy, and then a gray neutral. Uh, so I have those three different colors as of right now. So go ahead and go on there because uh, starting tomorrow on the 22nd, the 22nd through the 24th, they actually have a deal on there where if you put in the coupon code SHIP FREE18, you'll get free shipping on your purchase. So uh, go ahead and do that. Order your t-shirt, order your two t-shirts, or order your three t-shirts and get free shipping on it. So uh, we got a bunch of different colors. Uh, you don't have to get the gray, you can get black, you can get white, you can get whatever you want. So uh, the other way, I'd mentioned on here is through Patreon. <clears throat> so uh, Patreon is a um, sorry about that. <clears throat> kind of a throat uh, frog in my throat. So Patreon is just um, a platform to uh, <clears throat> uh, where people like you, people that watch can support um, people that are creating some kind of content, whether it be uh, art, whether it be video, or whatever. Um, it's a way that uh, it's just a community <clears throat> support uh, page where you can come on there, you can support the, uh, the person that is uh, making content. Uh, now on here, I have uh, different tiers set up. I'm at $18 right now. If I get to $20, we're going to start doing, we're start giving free Transformers out each month. So if I can get three more people to give $1, we're going to start giving away Transformers every single month. So uh, as, uh, as, as it goes up, the tiers get higher, the, uh, the free giveaways get bigger, and uh, it's just a win-win. So you're going to help me out. <clears throat> Possibly you can get a free Transformer. If you do... Uh, go up to the $5 level. Um, I will be sending you a art card every single month. Once a month, I'll be sending you a, uh, an art card. It'll be done by me. I'll autograph it for you and stuff like that. So um, go ahead and get on there. If you can only give a little bit, give a little bit. If you can give a lot, then please, please help me out because uh, I, I need your help. So uh, once again, I want to thank you for watching. If, uh, if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that. Um, if you enjoyed this content, give some thumbs up. It's Tambiota. I'll see you guys next time.